Hi everyone, this is my colander pour, previous pour that I did. If you haven't already seen the video, go ahead and have a look. It turned out really, really beautiful. So, um, it is almost dry. I absolutely love these colours together. And that gold on the corners is just, of course, it's luxurious again. Well, I thought I'd just give you a quick look in its entirety. And uh, please stick around for the next video. Thank you. Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel with Babe Art. Today has been such a beautiful day. We've been very fortunate to have some sun today. So I thought I would take the opportunity really to quickly get out a video I'm just covering my canvas quickly my base coat and I'll see you in a bit so I'm using Liquitex Basics for all of my colours today Um, I probably need about, I would say 200, about 250 moles to cover this, it's a 30 by 40 centimetre. So I have, um, Fade Up Blue, which I've actually added all of them are one part paint and two parts Floetrol and I've added a bit of pouring medium in as well up to 200 oh dear so I can already see it selling up so I'm not going to add too much of this um, rest of these colors and because I don't want far too much paint and then I have teal so yep I've got far too much paint already okay That's what I was trying to avoid doing, there was too much paint. So I can already see my colours are selling up already. So 
so yep yeah, that's looking really beautiful already um yeah you can see far too much paint unfortunately extinguisher at hand. popping and lots of cells popping up as well. <clears throat> There's no silicone in my paint. In fact I do have, I'm not sure if I mentioned it, I have um, a little bit of satin mineral in my colours. Okay, that's good enough. Mm, look at these cells over here. Can you see them in the bottom of the cup, in the jug? It's really cool. Alright, so I'm going to have to start tilting because I don't want to lose too much of what's going on around here. I'm not um, crazy about that side, so I think, first and foremost, I do have to get rid of quite a bit of this paint actually. So let's go ahead and get rid of that there. Maybe a bit more on this side here. So I'm just getting rid of as much paint as I can on those areas that I'm not really interested in.
there's still a lot of paint on here I'm trying not to lose too much of what's going on on this side here because I really like that I think I might need to get some more off this end here just so I can stretch it out a little bit more I don't want to lose the cells though I'll bring you guys in for a closer look. These pinks have come out absolutely beautiful. And these cells, I've got a whole lot of split cells here. Very nice. Yep, and these little bubbles popping. This one turned out absolutely beautiful. I love everything about it. So it's been sitting for a little while and it's actually started to dry around the edges. And I love the way the colour transitions all the way from the top. And it's also got some beautiful pinks in there. Transitions all the way from the top there with the purple in between those cells and it goes to green um, and then it goes all the way down to blue still with the purple running in between so I think that turned out really beautifully um, if you like this video please subscribe give it a thumbs up and um, hit the notifications bell so you'll get notified of further videos and thank you very much for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed. Until next time, bye.